Welcome to the Step 1 Review Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about vitamin A. Vitamin A can be found in any of the forms, retinol, retinol, or retinoic acid. Vitamin A can be found in the liver and leafy vegetables, in the cornea, on the rod cell, on rhodopsin, 11 cis retinol captures light and changes to all trans retinol, which releases transducin from rhodopsin, which activates phosphodiesterase turning cyclic GMP into GMP, which releases cyclic GMP from the sodium pump, hyperpolarizing the rod cell, turning it off, turning the bipolar cell on, sending the signal to the brain that you can see. Vitamin A deficiency makes the eye less sensitive to light, leading to nyctalopia, or night blindness. Vitamin A is essential for the differentiation of epithelial cells, like pancreatic tissue and mucus secreting cells. Vitamin A deficiency can lead to squamous metaplasia in the cornea. Bitote spots can form which have a white foamy appearance and are composed of keratin debris. Vitamin A deficiency can also cause keratomalacia or corneal degradation, immunosuppression, and xerosis cutis, which is dry, scaly skin. Children who catch measles who are deficient in vitamin A suffer more severely. Supplementation with vitamin A may improve the outcome for patients with measles. Acute promyelocytic leukemia is a cancer where the bone marrow makes too many promyelocytes, which are immature blood-forming cells. Vitamin A is also used to treat promyelocytic leukemia because it stimulates promyelocytic differentiation. Isotetranoin is a derivative of vitamin A that is used to treat severe cystic acne. Isotetranoin is also teratogenic, which can cause a cleft palate and cardiac abnormalities. Therefore, before starting isotetranoin, a patient must show a negative pregnancy test and be using two forms of contraception. In acute toxicity of vitamin A, nausea, vomiting, vertigo, and blurred vision are all symptoms. And chronic toxicity results in alopecia, dry skin, hepatotoxicity and enlargement, arthralgia, joint pain, and idiopathic intracranial hypertension or high pressure of the brain. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.